Hi guys, and um, welcome to another walkie talkie. It's been a while since I've done an actual walkie, one of these, but I thought um, today would be a good day to do it uh, because somebody needed a walkie. That somebody would be this little guy. Come on, you, I've got stuff to do. So, anywho, um, there's a few things I want to talk about in this one, but you know, that little plane up there is determined to stop me being able to talk to you about. Um, first up, I wanted to answer the question that a load of people have asked me um, for quite a while now. Are you coming, dog? Come on. Um, which is why the long, why the long pause? Because he's a dog. Pause. Pause. He's only got tiny paws, so it doesn't really work. Um, come on. Come on. Um, anywho, why the long break um, in doing videos? Uh, oh. I know there's no one here. I'm talking to the audience. They're in there. I know you can't see them, because they're here. Anywho, talking to the dog and talking to you guys, this is confusing for all of us. Um, basically, it comes down to a few reasons. Um, when I started doing the channel about two years ago, what I was after was uh, a new hobby, a new interest, and something to keep my video skills. Although skills is a... Uh, subjective word uh, in you know fresh and going and the hobby side was just to give me something to do because of a point in my life I was at and I needed it um, and producing the main show you know the main replay retro show of console reviews is a big process uh, and it took up a great deal of that time which was brilliant uh, but to be honest with you as much as it's had a lot of positive and good you know solid feedback it also gets a lot of the same old comments that just annoy me on a regular basis. Um, and I'm really sorry if this comment applies to you, but it is going to apply to some people. Basically, there's a large number of people who commented about the layout for the original show, you know, being in a video screen and blah blah blah. Well, there was actually a reason I did that. Uh, and it was mainly because of the fact that my camera is so, so low quality that I didn't want the image to be blown up too far. Uh, and that just negated a little bit of the uh, blow up. Um, just let me check this is still filming because this camera is a bit broken. Yes, it is. Although you already know that because you're watching. Weird. Um, anyway, so it negated some of that. But also it was because this was my show that I was creating for my hobby, for me. I was never creating it for anyone specific. Um, and I'm not getting paid for it, that's a big thing you have to remember, I do not get paid for this show. Um, but yet people still went on about this video screen thing, and it put me off majorly making the show, because I sit there and think, oh, for God's sake, is this all I'm going to get, really, for my effort of putting this up? Bear in mind it's a big effort, because basically I have to decide on a topic, so a system to review, pick some games to review as part of that, then I have to research the system, I um, have to collect images and collect video footage, I have to script it, I have to film it, I have to edit it, I have to encode it, I have to upload it. It's a big process. The main show takes about two days of solid work uh, to produce. So it's, it's a big ask, and then to get a load of, well, crappy feedback from people, really, the same old piece of crappy feedback, um, it can put you off quite a lot. And so that's kind of what happened. It was. No, we're going this way today. And it did put me off. Um, so, you know, hence the long pause started. Um, and I am, for the record, in season four, getting rid of that TV thing. It will still form part of the intro, but it'll zoom in more uh, so you can't see it when it gets into the main show. And that's fine. I don't mind doing that. But to all those people that seem to be commenting, thinking I will go back and re-release the old videos without that border, no. That is, it's not going to happen. I am not going to spend my time going through re-editing all the videos to get rid of that border just to satisfy you. So, sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, but one thing that annoyed me quite a lot was that these comments were raised and raised repeatedly. And so I dealt with them on Twitter. Eventually I actually had a bit of a rant on Twitter about how much it was annoying me. Um, but because so many subscribers don't pay attention to my Twitter, um, or even go on it. 
Hello, is there somebody over there? That's a bit weird. Um, then, you know, you wouldn't know that, annoyingly. So, yeah, basically, you know, uh, same, that kind of links into people that were asking about when the show was coming back and stuff as well. Um, well, if you'd been following on Twitter, you'd know when it was coming back. Uh, or you could ask me directly. I always respond to people on Twitter. Always. Um, whereas with video comments, I only comment back on videos that have been produced within the last couple of weeks. So if you put a comment on well, the Panasonic 3DO review, the first one I ever did, chances are I'm not going to reply. Um, and it's annoying actually for me sometimes as well, because some of your comments I actually really do want to reply to. But I just can't because that would be so much work to reply to every comment on every video. So instead, like I say, I just focus it on videos that have the most uh, recent production. So at the minute, the current five minute plays are uh, being done. Let me just check it's still recording. But yeah, we're doing well, but my hand is hurting and we have to change hands. Oh, a new gate's been fitted. Um, it's a really nice day, by the way. Have you seen this? Anywho, uh, let's get this gate open. Come on, dog. Please keep your dogs under control. So don't get me. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons for the long break. But um, it's also because I just needed a break. I wasn't feeling it anymore. Um, I know, for example, you get people like the Stig recently did a video saying that he's just not feeling this whole thing anymore and so he's going to stop doing videos. And it's sad, but it does happen because it starts to feel like a job. And again, we're not getting paid for this. People need to stop looking at YouTube hosts and video creators and thinking that we owe you something because we don't. Steve Benway, for example, does videos almost every day and the second he stops, People go a bit mental. Oh, why is Steve not doing a video today? You know why? Probably because he couldn't be bothered. Because it's not his job. He doesn't owe you a video every day. It's great that you get one, but, you know, just appreciate the ones you get rather than, oh, I'm going to have to flip to untangle the lead. Rather than getting bitchy about the ones you don't get. What's he doing? Oh, he's having a wee. We'll wait here while he has a wee. Do, 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 all right. Do you want a piece of treat? You are a treat, I know you do. This is a bit weird. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Come on then. So, anyway. Uh, also, one of the things that the Stig was talking about in his video about stopping is uh, that he's also stopping collecting and is actually selling all his collection. Um, and that got me thinking as well to some extent because his comments were mainly about how for him, collecting has become less about collecting to play and more about collecting to say that he owns these things. I have to admit, my collection is kind of the same these days. I look at things, I look at my Game 8, for example, that I could sell for a significant profit, but I don't. And why? Because I'm not rich, you know, I don't have a vast amount of money, <laughs> certainly don't have a good job. So, you know, I should be selling some of this stuff, maybe, but don't worry, for now, for the time being, I'm not. We'll keep making videos, uh, everything will be fine. Um, but yeah, collect, let me know your thoughts on that. Do you collect because you like playing, or do you collect because you like owning, or is there some other reason, you know? Uh, and do you really think you can justify your collection? Because I have to admit, there are systems I want, and sometimes, they, you know, they go out of my price range. Anyone following me on Twitter at the minute will know that there's been a few times I've lost auctions I really wanted recently. And you know what? I could have just put them down, paid a bit more money. But I didn't, because I I struggled to justify it. So yeah, it's, you know, it swings and roundabouts with that. Um, how much time have I got left? Not too long. Um, but yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to be quitting. I am, in fact, back. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the recent five minute plays. I'm going to start making more of those. Just because, to be honest with you, it takes me about half an hour to make a five minute play. So it's a much more attractive option for me than making a main show episode. So you will be seeing five minute plays uh, a lot more often. Uh, and the main review show will happen, but you know, just not very often. Season four will happen soon, I promise you that.
it'll start but it won't be regular it won't be every week like it previously was because I don't know why I'm forcing myself to do that much work um, to be honest with you so yeah let me know what you think about the new series when it starts oh that's another good thing to talk about um, Attack of the Clones the new series I just started um, you can smell rabbits Attack of the Clones the new series I just started uh, all about clone systems uh, we looked at the Enjoy, <laughs> yeah, the Enjoy pad. We looked at that recently. What do you think about that new show? Um, very interested to hear people's feedback about whether it's an idea I should be pursuing or not. Um, it's just to make the channel a bit more diverse. And again, it doesn't have half of the production time of the main show because again, it's an unscripted show. It's an unresearched show. I sit down with a piece of plastic tap. I look at it. I review it. I play it, and then I start the editing. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that. The show, that show, will be getting another two episodes um, with some other systems, and then I will look at continuing it based on public reaction. So if everyone hates it and thinks it's rubbish, it'll end. It'll never be seen again. We'll not see the light of day. But if people think it's good, then there'll be a few more of those come along. There's also one other new show in the pipeline, um, which you'll find out more about when the time comes. It is a really beautiful day. Um, so, watch my Twitter for that. You know what, when the first episode of the very new show comes out, uh, which I don't know when it'll be, I'm going to make it private on YouTube for the first little while, maybe a few hours, maybe a day, so that my Twitter followers will get there first. So, I might encourage a few of you to follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Or maybe annotated, depending on how much I can be bothered uh, doing. What else was I supposed to talk about in this show? I've got a little list here. Ah, I shouldn't have folded it up because, you know, that looks a bit foolish. Do 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 do. Collecting, collecting and quitting. I'm going to take a break. New show and future shows. Oh, the Play Expo. How did I forget that? This weekend in Manchester, uh, England land, for all my American watchers, um, is the Play Expo. That's modern gaming, retro gaming, cosplay and tournament gaming. I will be there. I wasn't originally going to because I'm dirt poor. Uh, and in some financial difficulties at the moment, but I will be there. Um, I don't know if I'll be wearing the Re Replay Retro t-shirt or not, I haven't decided yet. Um, but if anyone does see me, or thinks they see me, feel free to come and say hi, I will talk to you. Um, unless you're really, really weird. And then I might walk away. Awkward. Um, but yeah, feel free to come up and see me if you're there, guys. Let me know in the uh, description below. Uh, sorry, in the comments below, uh, who's going to be there. It'd be great to meet up with some of you guys. Um, if there are any announcements made for uh, members of the Retro Gamer Forum to meet up somewhere, you can guarantee I'll be there. Because um, I am a member of the forum, and uh, you know I want to meet up with those guys. Hoping to see a few uh, other YouTubers there. Hoping to meet up with Retro Gamer VX again, and Steve Benway, and Retro Rewind, all those kind of guys. It will be good to see you there. Um, but yeah, feel free to come and see me and buy me a raffle ticket for something. Who knows? Um, time, time, time. Still got five minutes. Um, what else can we talk about? Pickups. Uh, Pickups. A few people have asked why I don't do pickup videos. To be honest with you, it's because I don't have the patience of most people. I just tear things open the second they come through the door. Um, just ordered a Fairchild Channel F. Looking forward to that turning up. Uh, well, it's the UK version, the Grandstand Video Entertainment System, whatever. Um, I probably look awful right now because I'm scrunching my face up because of the sun. Uh, there's a crazy old man over there. I say crazy old man, I'm the one walking around with a camera on a stick with a dog talking to myself. I think we'll turn around about here though and go back. Come on you! Um, he's only little, he doesn't need this kind of a walk really. Um, what else? Yeah, we, we've discussed pretty much everything really, and I, I don't want that first part to come out as a rant or to come out as an attack, because those comments certainly weren't the only reason I stopped making videos for a little while. They were just a part of it, um, because I'm sure you can imagine it, it's off-putting. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit annoying really when you're getting that kind of stuff. But like I say, the problem doesn't exist now. You know, when the new series of uh, the main show starts, it'll be sorted. You'll, uh, you won't have to put up with that flickering TV all the way through. So, yay! Victory for the people! Um, 
uh, turn around again. Um, so yeah, I do hope you like it. Um, like I say, let me know what you think about um, Attack of the Clones in there and the five minute plays, I suppose, as well. Um, but I am back. I'm certainly not quitting anytime soon. Uh, although, like I say, collecting is such an expensive hobby. It's just really, really difficult. I'm trying to think if there's any points. Oh, what was. There was a tag recently about um, what part of a company would you change? A company from the past. Have I got time to talk about that? Well, I've got a couple of minutes to talk about it. Um, yeah, the tag was something to do with, you know, what would you do if you could go back in time and change any company's decisions? And it's quite odd. I think I'd give Sega some Ritalin in the 90s and be like, stop releasing stuff. Seriously, calm the hell down. Because um, I think they'd still be with us today if they hadn't gone, here's a Mega Drive, it's awesome, have a Mega CD, oh my god, have a 32X, Ooh, it's brilliant, have a Saturn, Ooh, have a Dreamcast, oh my god, we've run out of money. Ooh. You know, I think Sega would still be around if they'd uh, been a bit more careful with that. Um, but then also Nintendo. I'd encourage Nintendo to try and have a little bit more faith. Uh, the Virtual Boy did not need to die. Let it live. You know? Um, stuff like that, you know. Because it's a brilliant system. I don't care what anyone says. So yeah, that's my answer to that tag. I can't remember what the specific tag was, but hey. And that is pretty much all I can think of. This has been a rubbish video. If you're still watching, you probably have mental problems. Because um, this is this is just stupid. I'm not really talking about anything. I'm just blithering and blathering. And dog wants to go somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, let me know what you think about any of the topics we've discussed today. Hopefully I will see loads of you at the Play Expo. Give me a wave, give me a shout, you'll recognise me. I might put something around my neck, uh, with Replay Retro ID or some description. Um, but yeah, until next time. See you soon.